Hey, it's Cat and Cat Tales to be. I just got finished working out. I look a little, you know, messy, but whatever. I want to do this video really quick. I left my freaking microphone in the car because I waited too late to do this video. But I just wanted to let you know, I don't think that the Kate Middleton that was on the balcony was the real Kate Middleton, or if it was, there's something wrong because I noticed that both of her sons sneezed while they were on the balcony and they literally, like, I can't hold the other, my other hand because I'm holding the, my uh, monopod. But anyway, he sneezed in his hands, both Louie Louis and the other one. I forgot his name, sorry. But the air, they both sneezed because I guess the, um, the airplanes ahead they cause some you know allergy stuff so they both sneeze but they sneeze in their hands like good little boys I guess but a mom always has tissues for a four-year-old or a five-year-old you know what I'm saying because kids get messy even if you're a princess you should always have a napkin or a tissue or a handkerchief I mean that's just that's just what moms do so I just felt like the children were acting really, really disconnected and really, really miserable. And obviously, William didn't really want to be there. He's such a bad actor. He overly um, compensates. But I don't, if that was Kate Middleton, beyond having a facelift, um, I don't know if it's reconstructive surgery, because some people are, are spe uh, s speculating on that. I have no idea. But there's been alleged um, domestic violence allegations against William, and they too have said in the press that they argue. But in regards to the royal family, I don't trust anything they say or do because they've lied so many times in regards to Kate Middleton. It's not normal. It, it reminds me of being in an abusive relationship, like if you're dating someone who's a psychopathic narcissist who just lies and lies and says, no, I wasn't cheating, it wasn't me, but it was him, you know what I mean? Or her, depending on which person you're involved with, but it doesn't make any sense for them to have all those fake photographs. In regards to the new photographs, the ones that are supposedly for Father's Day, what mother who's allegedly really, really sick is gonna take a picture of the back of her husband and her children and not be in the photographs. They lie so much, it's disgusting. But um, most happy families want to be in a photograph together. And the photographs, if photographs, a good photographer tell the story. If you don't know, I am a photographer, but um, you tell a story in a photograph. And what the photographs are saying is that he's living without Kate. He's the father, the kids love him so much, but she's not around. But yet she was able to go to the um, trooping of the color and get out of the carriage without help and be around Charles, even though they supposedly have cancer. I, the story's a lie, come on. I don't know what's going on over there besides him being involved with Rose um, and allegedly They've been involved for a very long time, but I said a long time ago that I thought Thomas Kingston and Kate Middleton might have had some type of interaction because he was a hostage negotiator and um, they might have known each other before, before Pippa and him dated or during Pippa's dating, but like I said in an old video, sometimes people date someone close while they're trying to hide the fact they're having a relationship with somebody. <clears throat> and, you know, people do all kinds of work games. <clears throat> but also, if uh, William has been cheating on and off and or um, if Thomas and Kate became confidence, confidants in talking to each other, she may have told him that, you know, her and William been separated for like a very long time if they communicated during the last couple of um, years. You know what I'm saying? It just 
The story is that Kate and William have been living separately for like two years, and maybe it got to a head where he said, I want a divorce, or she said she wanted a divorce in December, and then all hell broke loose, but um, there's just really odd behavior. If you, if you notice psychopathic narcissists and also crime, um, indication of crime or, or people being deceptive, there's certain indications that this story just doesn't make any sense. Kate had new teeth, she had a, like a new face, um, you know, she alleged she has cancer, but she looks, you know, she looked very healthy and she didn't go to the Ascot uh, horse race thing, but her parents were there and William made sure he got a photograph of him helping um, Carol Middleton after, you know, a couple of weeks ago, they were saying how broke the Middletons were and how they were greatly in debt. So all of a sudden everything's fine. It just seems very, very suspect. I mean, it doesn't take a brain surgeon to figure this shit out. But again, another thing that really irks me is they're really pushing the AI, the future of, you know, robotics and lies and fake photographs. And it seems like uh, William has used this Kate Middleton situation to really promote that other agenda, you know? We're not ne we're not needed anymore. They want to use robots, you know, and it's okay to lie and use fake photographs. But if you look at the photograph, let me wait. We've got Baywatch. Oh, every time I do a video, there's some fucking noise, man. There's some fucking noise. But hopefully everybody's all right. Come on, dude. I want to get this video over with. Hopefully the person's all right. Cause I don't know. I don't know what's going on over there. Hurry, 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 so I can do my fucking video. So anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the photographs look fake. I wonder if they've looked at those photographs where William's jumping at the beach. And by the way, when did they go to the beach? Like, it's, I'm in LA by the way. This is the beach and it's almost eight o'clock. When did they go to a beach in England? You know what I'm saying? I, I don't remember if they're wearing sweaters or whatever, but wouldn't the beaches be somewhat cold in England? It's not like 80 degrees like it was here today. So everything's fake, everything they do. William is not the doting dad. I don't think he's been around for a very long time and the kids' body language say that they are, you know, distant from him. It doesn't take brain surgery. What I wanna know is, was that Rose Hanbury in a latex mask um, playing Kate? during the, um, on the balcony, because she's, it's just a little weird. Why is this bitch so close to me? But anyway, um, I just feel like that's not Kate. Sorry. This lady literally just, like, walked almost in a straight line to where I was, and I was not having it. Um, yeah, I just feel like, I've seen videos of, uh, there was a CIA uh, lady who told a story about during Bush's administration, the first one, she tricked him by coming into the meeting with a mask and he thought it was a different person. So that was God knows how long ago, 30 years ago, that that actually happened. She was retelling the story recently. It's on YouTube. Uh, so imagine what kind of latex and skill they have. I mean, you can Google latex mask, realistic mask, and you'll be shocked the skill they have right now. Um, but even, I work in the movie industry, they've got, you know, they can make anybody look like somebody else. And those people have access to all kind of money, especially if they're trying to keep them on or keep going, but it just looks really, really shady as fuck. You know what I'm saying? And I, I don't want to play their game, because they want it, like, they want, it's almost like a bad reality show. They want to, like, waste our time and energy. But I was literally concerned for that woman, because I had a very bad feeling that something very, very dangerous happened to her. And it wasn't just me who felt that. There was all kinds of people from all over the world who felt that same urgency, like she needed help. But it was really weird, like, what can you do? All we could do is just repeat the story over and over again and do some research. But the more you research the story, it's crazy. And again, 
Thomas Kingston's wife allegedly moved into Ken Kensington Palace. She's there. No one talks about her, and she she didn't go to the Ascot thing. And why didn't why didn't Kate go to the Ascot thing? It's like she is under lock and key, like Rapunzel. You know what I mean? She's locked up. So anyway, this is Cat Cat Tales TV. I just want to get this video over with. I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that. Not over with. I wanted to get it done. I was going to do it earlier, but it was very, very bright. And then I was chilling with a good friend and talking. And um, I ended up working out, so I did it late. But again, this is a beach in California. Oops, I'm out of focus. So when did they take that photograph with, you know, William jumping with the kids? And why wouldn't, why would they... Why would she just take the photographs and not be in the photographs if she really is sick? Because she'd want to create lasting memories with her family if they had a real relationship. So I wish they quit fucking lying. It's fucking annoying. And I wish people would wake the fuck up and see what's in front of your face. If you knew you were deathly ill, you show up to a, an event with a new face and not a mask on, even though you're around the footsman and other people and your kid's snotting all over his face and you don't have a napkin or not a napkin, a, a handkerchief or a mom always has handkerchiefs or, or wet wipes or something because their kid's snot. That's what good moms do. It just doesn't make any sense. What's Rose Hanbury been doing lately? She doing the, she's on the downloads because she knows everybody knows about her. But yeah, find out what happened to uh, Lady Lady Gabriella. She's still locked up in Kensington Palace. And, you know, William really doesn't work that much. And he's supposed to be the next in line. He works less. He just doesn't even work. It's disgusting. But anyway, this is Cat Cat Tells me. Thanks for listening. I will talk to you guys later. Stay safe. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. And if you want, send me a super thanks. Bye! Oh, check out my Redbubble and my Poshmark. Thank you. Bye.